We've probably all had very different experiences of the last couple of years, and probably for most of us, it's ebbed and flowed during that time. Interestingly, when you look at the pandemic in 1918 to 1920, what was so-called the Spanish flu that came right at the end of the First World War, at the end of that pandemic, it was like the cork was released on the pressure that people had been living under, and we went into what became known as the Roaring Twenties, a decade of indulgence, celebration, and consumption. Some were predicting that when COVID came to an end, the same thing would happen in our context. And yet, a war in Europe that hits our TV screens and is clearly awful for the people that live in Ukraine, but heartbreaking for others who are watching on, affecting the whole of the continent and the whole of the world. We have escalating energy costs, food costs, mortgages, a cost of living crisis that's putting enormous pressure on those that can least afford it. We have an increased awareness of global warming and the impacts of global warming. Even this summer, we've seen horrendous floods in Pakistan, a country that's close to my heart, with areas that I've visited and lived in that are under feet of water. People, again, who are the least able to afford it, displaced from their homes. We've had fires raging across Europe. We've had highest temperatures ever recorded in the UK. We've had droughts. We're seeing the impact of global warming like we've maybe not seen it before. We have political instability and change, a rise of popularism, and an increasingly divided and anxious society. It strikes me that as we emerge out of this pandemic that we're not going to hit the roaring 20s again. That we actually are continuing to live in different ways under pressure. It's a very pressurized, wider context, and that doesn't seem likely that it's going to change anytime soon, let alone the personal things that are happening in our own lives. Health, family, bereavements, stress of work, exams. Maybe you're a student and you've just moved to Edinburgh, a new location. All kinds of things that can mean that we're living under pressure. 